So, what, what's your name? My name is uh, Pastor George Lucas, and I'm uh, the executive director of Save America First Evangelize the World. I'm also a retired military veteran, and I know what it is to take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And there is no other country in the world that can compete with America. And, and uh, the people that are tearing down this country don't realize that they would probably be the first ones to be destroyed if an enemy was to come in and take over. Now, I want to say something to you that no, not one speaker said today. Do you feel that they're intentionally sabotaging our intelligence, our intelligence uh, services, the CIA, the military? Do you feel they're doing it, this sabotage on purpose? I believe that this is actually being done on purpose. And if you really uh, go to my website, you'll see a, a letter that I wrote about President Obama before the election. Color has nothing to do with this. This man needs an American history lesson taught to him. And the, the people that he has been surrounded with hate America. And I believe that this is a concentrated uh, effort with malice and forethought that is bringing down, uh, that, that, it, it, that they're attempting to bring down the government of the United States of America covertly. Right, right. I believe that honestly in my heart. Right. Because some of the things that they're doing, you cannot explain. There is no justification whatsoever to bring a man who has already pleaded guilty and is asking for the death penalty. You can say, well, we're going to bring him into New York and try him. But this is baloney. This is stupidity. And you can't fix stupid. And right now, I believe that we have some leadership up there that needs to, um, an American history lesson taught to them. Now, I want to ask you a quick question about the Afghanistan, the surge. Do you feel that, uh, do you support it, how they're, they're handling the surge and uh, Afghanistan? Well, for one, the president took too long to make that decision. He claims that uh, he, was, he, he, he was not under any deadline or whatever. If the, the general that he appointed, who said he was going to establish a new strategy in Afghanistan, asked him for a, a desired number of troops, why did it take that long for you to do that? And on top of that, during the speech that he made, if you notice, he never mentioned the word victory. He never used victory. And that is, that's been an American, that's an American word. Well, not only that, it's also the 18 month that he's looking to run out of there so it looks like and he wants to do it right before the, the election yeah, well you're telling the enemy right. to go hide for 18 months and, right. uh, and after 18 months you can come back out right? because you're sending a message and that's a wrong message to send and I want to say he's also sending a message to the people of Afghanistan that were supposedly there helping that are being uh, victims of, of the Taliban They're, he's letting them know that hey you know what uh, we're going to not we're going to abandon you in 18 months so why What's the purpose of them helping us if they're going to, you know, uh, right, if they're going to be, if, yeah, because in 18 months, the Taliban being there chopping their heads off and their fingers That's and everything right. else. That's right. Now, uh, uh, President Obama, I know he has enough intelligence to know that I went to Korea in 1953. We still have troops in Korea. Yep. And, you know, I was in Japan. We still have troops in Japan. We have troops in Germany. Why are we setting a deadline to come out of that after in 18 months. It's a stupid, uh, colossal mistake. Now, I want to ask you about uh, Obama's eligibility. Do you know anything about his eligibility, the, the lawsuits that are against him from the um, uh, military people that are, are questioning his eligibility? Do you know anything about it? Uh, no, I, unfortunately, I don't have any knowledge uh, about that subject, but I believe that if he has nothing to hide, he ought to bring his birth certificate up. Right. I can up here, one of the side issues that happened with me yesterday, now that you mentioned birth certificate, I went over to the courthouse and I got uh, asked for a copy of my birth certificate. I was born in 1934. And while I was there, I said, you know what? I want a copy of my mother's marriage certificate and my father. And do you know I went over to another section of the courthouse yesterday and I got a copy of my mother's and father's marriage certificate. Wow. And so when they were married. They were married by a Catholic priest up in Harlem. Wow. And it's, it's awesome. So, you know, if what's you have so nothing, difficult? Yeah, what's yeah, why don't you just show your birth certificate, uh, President Obama? If you don't have nothing to hide, don't hide it. We see, it's 
also, I want to inform you about and a little bit, too. And a million dollars. Right. So, yeah, over. Oh, yeah, yeah, over. over a million Close dollars. to two, it's to worth it. Keep yeah. showing your birth certificate. Right. I got my birth certificate for $15. I'd be glad to show it to anybody. But also, I want to let you know that it's also his his father, Kenya, was a, a British colony at that time, which makes his father British. Obama even admitted that in his book. Yeah. So if Obama's father is British, that makes Obama have British, and that's not a natural-born citizen. And that is why they're fighting it so, uh, so because they, they know it's more than just a birth certificate. That's right. Well, Muammar Gaddafi calls him a Muslim. There we go. Okay. Yeah. He said uh, he, that he's a Muslim. Right. And, of course, when he went over to uh, the Arab countries, he bowed down to the king. Okay. So, I mean, you know, truth's in the pudding. So, now, uh, so you came from where? North Carolina today for this? From North Carolina for this uh, meeting, and I would have crawled up here. Well, God bless you, sir. You're a true patriot. What's the name of your website again? The name of the website is Save America First, Evangelize the World. It's saf-etw dot o-r-g. Well, my site's theconservativemonster.com, and this is going to be on there, and we're going to... Re- God bless you, sir. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. God bless you, brother. Get home safe. Thank you. Thank you.